Just find another AI tool that allow you to use Stable Diffusion online without install on local PC. It's not only image generation tool, it also allows you to generate animation with image like what we used to do in Animate Diff. They have custom trained checkpoints and LORAS especially for cartoon anime creator. By using this tool, maybe you can create your own comic or anime short videos. Now let's check out this AI tool's features. And so this tool is called the Foxify Art. You can check out their URL by typing Foxy Art. One of the very interesting one is from their Twitter account, which showcase animation, like what we used to do in Animate Diff to generate a short few seconds GIF image with image. Yeah. And on the main page, I saw they have so many anime cartoon style images from their users. I guess it's mostly they are targeting people that like to create anime style contents. And then they have so many similar showcases here. And I was impressed by how they do this for people who like Japanese style anime. I think it's really cool and suitable for cartoons, comics, and anime creators that you can create anime characters from this tool. It helps you to shorten your time of productions. And basically this platform are based on Stable Diffusion's foundation. So they have checkpoints and LoRa models. So for us, Stable Diffusion's fans, we are so familiar with the concept of all features in here. And I have asked their admin and they have replied me. Right now the animate feature enable for images from text to image. And they are getting this feature for the image from user upload or image to image on the upcoming updates. So you can upload your own image and do animate with these features. So on the left menu, you have all stable diffusion control and the image to image functions, sampling staff, CFG, etc. And below that, they have the higher fix, which you can enhance your image. That includes many common upscaler models. So it is going to be no problems for stable diffusions users. So if you don't want to set up a Google Colab every time you want to use stable diffusion, if your hardware is not good enough to run locally, this is another good option for you. They also have the ad detailer. Now, this is very important for us stable diffusions users to do a face or the body corrections if you have a bad face or the extra fingers or extra hands on your image characters. So, yes, the animate result just generated. And let's see, and this pops up. We can see our animate preview on here. On the right side, they have the information display about this animate text prompt and sampling setting. And let's see the advanced setting here. Okay, so the advanced setting, they have seat numbers and restore face. That is something you can enhance your AI image faces. And so when you hop over to the image, the generated image, it have option like copy link remix. That means can you regenerate similar images? And one of the good features they have is the remove backgrounds feature here. So you can just one click button and then you can remove the background. You don't need to use another third party software to do that. And that is genius that they integrate everything in one solution. After remove the background, we can hop over again and then click the view remove background image. There you have it, the character with a total transparent backgrounds. They also have the image upscaler by one button. So every generated images, you can hop over and use all these features. So yeah, it's basically this like one complete solutions for stable diffusions users without installing anything. So after you generate all the image or the animate GIF files is going to be in your account, you can click my image in profile and you can preview your previous generate history on this page. That is similar to what other AI image generation tools that is having for your account. Here is a few example that I test out with this tool. And as you can see, they have realism checkpoint models and anime checkpoint models. Their checkpoint models is kind of cool. That is specified for anime. Okay, so on this image here, I was trying to do like a girl singing. And then I typed prompt like Blackpink Lisa and singing on the stage. And then it's trying to do like an anime cartoon style image. And then I use this image to generate this few seconds GIF animate file here. So yeah, the animation is consistent. It doesn't get any twist fingers or the body part twisted or deform. Let's try another example here that I got an animate image this time. Just simply click the animate button and you can have your own animate based on this image that we have. And by clicking the result, it looks nice.
and the animate movement is matching with the text prompt that I have. So in this example, I am doing like a right hand and hair flipping. So the movements are very similar. So let's check out their checkpoint models. This is one of a very special thing on these AI tools. As you can see, a list of checkpoints models on this page. And when you check out their names and all the styles, and some of it, I mean, most of it is trained by themselves. And that's why they have some custom trained checkpoint models. So on the left side menu, you can see this purple button, LoRa models. And you can check out lots of LoRa that is built by their team. And actually, they are using some cartoon characters or the Japanese style anime characters to create LoRa models in here. Pretty cool. And some are 3D, some are 2D styles. So that's why in the beginning of this video, I have mentioned this is really specially for people want to make comics or animate. They can use this tool to create anime characters. And yes, some of them, I'm not sure if they have the copyright issues or any license of this characters to build specific anime character Laura. So let's check out the control net features that is basically very similar to what we have in automatic 1111. You drag and drop image file here. In my example, I have my girlfriend image on here and I'm trying to use that as an example this time. Hope this tool can make good image from her image. So I will be still alive for the next video. So let's check out the open pose. This is very common. Use control net model for us in stable diffusions and looks like they have start running. So yeah, here's the result. And as you can see, I'm choosing the cartoon checkpoint models and try to bring this real picture into cartoon style AI image. Well, yeah, pretty nice. Hope I will be alive when she saw this. As my text prompt, I have defined that this beautiful girl in a garden and then some flowers and the picture of the girl is very close to the character pose as the control net image, as you can see. But yeah, although the lower part of the body is not the same, but at least it can detect the characters on the source. Image is standing back. Side view and then the head is turning left like this positions. Yeah, it looks pretty good. And also one more thing there, advanced settings. You can set this just like in automatic 1111. You can do a control net is more important. Here is another image generated from the control net open post. And this time I'm using the control net is more important options here. So let me choose like a realism checkpoint models. Let's say, maybe try this one. Yeah, this one is also a custom checkpoint model trained by Foxify. And we can try this, really some models, and see how good is this. So this time I'm going to use the image to image features. So on the left menu, I scroll down and then I apply with the same image as I did with control net. And let's see how it's played with this. So let's say I use um, denoising strain as 40 and let's check it out. So here's the result. This realism checkpoint models for image to image is pretty close to our original image. Actually, I set the denoising strength down to 40. So that is pretty close to the positions of what we have in the original image. And let's turn it up to about 60 here. Just want to see the difference. It looks okay for 60. And let's see, let's push it a little bit higher and see if they can do it like completely different with the original image. Okay, yeah, it starts you getting difference when it go to 65. And here's the list of image that I did with Foxify art. So go back to create page. After you generate the image, you can hop over and click the in paint button. You can do same in paint as well, just like in automatic 1111. And everything is pretty easy on this. The UI is pretty intuitive and I can easily switch and changing the face of this image from Okay, and uh, let's do one more time of this element functions using a realism checkpoint model and see if they can do it with a realism animation. Although they are specialized in doing like comics and cartoon characters, but I believe this checkpoint models can do something like have realism styles here. 
okay, maybe I have to turn up the FPS of the animate, but so far so good. I mean, the character is running smooth. The hands and legs, it does not twist it. The body part, it does not twist it as well. It's just running like a normal person. Okay, so yeah, that is it for this tutorial, and I hope you guys can use it. Uh, for some of you that cannot install stable diffusions on the local PC. And I think this is really helpful for you guys to run stable diffusions with this tool. I hope you like this quick tips video about Foxify art. So I will see you on the next videos. Have a nice day. Bye.